Hello everybody, Game Freak 917 here. I'm back today with more Forza Horizon on the Xbox 360. I want to make a quick video showcasing two cars, and the reason why I'm doing two cars is because of how similar they actually are to each other. And the two cars that I'm going to be showing off is this, the 2012 Ultima GTR, and this and this, the 2010 Joss GT1. And I'm going to start off with the Ultima GTR just because this is one of the best rear wheel drive uh, drag racing cars in Forza Horizon. Just because it's super light and the acceleration on it is absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen a car accelerate like the Ultima GTR. But I'm going to be showcasing this GTR. It's the one that has the wing on it. And supposedly, this will actually increase the acceleration. If you look at the stats between this and the wingless Ultima GTR, the wingless has a 9.9 .9 acceleration, while this has a 10 acceleration. But the big thing that is super tricky though about the Ultima GTR is the wheel spin off the launch. Let's just, uh, let's line up just a little bit better. Come on. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, launching out of first gear. You just see, uh,. I'm going to try to cheat, uh, treat it as if I were to be drag racing somebody, so. Take it a little easy on the throttle at the beginning just to avoid a uh, massive wheel spin. But as you can see, we passed the speed trap uh, doing about 191. And let's just look at the, hold on, let's just look at the stats really quickly for the GTR. Alright, so it has 951 horsepower, 850 foot-pound torque, weighing in at 2,197 pounds. And here are the stats. As you can see, it's almost 10 all the way across the board except for a 9.2 on the launch. So... This is a extremely fast car. Now let's look at the Joss. The Joss has almost 10 all across the board except for a 9.9 .9 acceleration and a 9.1 launch. It makes 918 horsepower with 765 foot pound torque weighing at 1893 horsepower or I mean not horsepower just 1,893 pounds so it makes it lighter than the GTR so that's where a little bit of an advantage comes in because it's lighter it allows it to accelerate very quickly but let's just go back line up and see what we can do so we had a 191 on the speed trap with the Ultima GTR and let's just see how this how fast this car goes in a straight line whoops let me back up just a little bit creep forward alright again treat it like as if we were actually drag racing somebody Take it a little bit easier on the throttle. Alright, a 192.6 on the speed trap, so it's a mile per hour more than the Ultimate GTR. 
but you can't really go off of that saying that this is actually the faster and quicker car because last night me and my friend took uh, we were drag racing both these cars side by side I was in the Joss he was in the GTR and it basically all it comes down to is the driver because we were going back and forth he would win a, he would win a race and I would win a, I would win a race and it was just a constant battle between us and it all came down to the driver who had the better shifts who had the better launch it's it's just these cars are very similar it's hard to really choose which one you prefer honestly I mean when you look at some of the uh, stats you know I think the GTR actually has a little bit more horsepower but the Joss has more torque the Joss is lighter while the GTR is heavier but that the it's just it honestly it just all comes down to the driver but I just want to make this quick video just because we were stunned honestly with just how close these two cars were I mean both cars are some of the quickest accelerating cars in the game and they both may have a low top end the Jaws tops out around 230 231 while the GTR tops out around 240 245 ish I want to say um, that's just going off of what I can remember it's I haven't tested in a while so I can't remember all that well but it's these cars are so similar in quite a few ways that it makes them both extremely efficient drag racing cars you know you ever get into a uh, lobby where people are doing digs with R1 and they're using the rear wheel drives of course they can use the GT40s because they have probably about the best launch in uh, in the game for rear wheel drive cars. I don't know of any other rear wheel drive car that uh, launches better than the GT40. But with these, you have acceleration on your side. So while the GT40 is ahead of you, you're accelerating so much faster. So you're able to really pick up on the speed. But I just, again, I just want to make a super quick video just to showcase both of these cars. And I really wish that Took was uh, on right now because it would make recording this a lot easier. But I want to make sure that I had video up today and he wasn't on. Uh, he was a little busy, you know, that's just how a lot of people are nowadays. You know, when you get older, you get busier. Kind of sucks, but that's just what happens. But, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comment section down below or just give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me and my friends when I record them, make sure to subscribe. I am uploading daily. And, once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.